Ralph, early voting wrapped up Friday here at Highland Recreation Center in Hickory. As you mentioned, there are several races up for grabs across the Hickory Metro on Election Day tomorrow. In Catawba County, the city of Hickory has three seats up for grabs on the Board of Aldermen, also known as City Council. The seats being contested are in Wards 1, 2, and 3. Carmen Eckert and Tony Wood are competing in Ward 1. Ernie Mache and Charlotte Williams square off in Ward 2. And Nathan Hefner and Danny Seaver are vying for the Ward 3 seat. Taking a look at other contested races in Catawba County in Brookford, there are five candidates for two seats on the Board of Aldermen. In Catawba, there are four candidates for two seats on Town Council. There are five candidates for three seats on Claremont City Council. There are six candidates for three seats on Conover City Council. There is a race for mayor in the town of Maiden with two candidates vying for that position. In addition, there are five candidates for three seats on Maiden Town Council. There are four hopefuls for mayor in the city of Newton and 10 candidates for three seats on Newton City Council. There are also school board seats up for election in the Newton, Conover and Hickory Public Schools with a contested race for Ward 6 in the city of Hickory. In other municipalities in the Hickory Metro, there are seats up for grabs in contested races, including a contest for mayor in the Caldwell County town of Gamewell. In Alexander County, there is a race for mayor in Taylorsville and 10 candidates for four seats on the town of Taylorsville Board of Commissioners. In Burke County, there is a race for mayor in Morganton and for Morganton City Council districts one and two. There are also contested races for the Burke County Board of Education, Eastern and Western districts. Polls open at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow and they'll close at 7.30 p.m. You can get election returns on our sister station, WHKY Radio, 1290 a.m. and 102.3 FM, beginning at around 8 o'clock tomorrow night. I'll have those for you. In addition, you can get election returns at our website, whky.com, and we'll have election results during a live update on WHKY TV News with Ralph Mangum at 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Reporting from Highland Recreation Center for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you.